Look at my sweet, sweet Mustang, man. That thing looks so, so cool. Actually, can we can we tint the windows? I'm just looking at it now. I mean, like, those windows are very, very not tinted. If not, that seems like a bit of an oversight. And do some more races and start making some serious money in this game. But I guess let's start it off with this high-speed drifter rally raid. Uh, we'll do some rally raid stuff. Why not? We're not going to be using our Mustang today, which is kind of crappy, but eh, it's okay. Can I, can I go? Yes, I want to go. Thank you. Let me go. It was a deer. All right, let's go, boys. Wait. Oh, so this is like a time attack. That's the objective I need to beat. And this is... Okay. So there are checkpoints, but they're very loosely based. This is one of the... This is one of the type of races that I made a video on earlier, and I've completely gone the wrong way now, which is not brilliant. You did this race and you couldn't win it? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm 4.5 seconds red. That is really not good right now. I feel like this thing just sort of like bogs down. It just feels so slow. It's just like, ugh, come on, yeah, drive. Oh no. Okay. Nick can't shift. That is true. I am playing in automatic gears, so I don't need to use the stupid thingies. Those were incredibly annoying, and I don't want to go and remap my entire controller for the crew, too. There needs to be a way to actually drive manual in this game, not get screwed over. Raymond's online. Hello, objective. Goodbye, objective. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going, man. We gotta push. We can't play easy. These races have proved nothing but difficult, especially in that stupid Mustang. And I assume I'm gonna crash on the last corner as per always with me so uh if i can get quite the lead that'd be good look how green i am 14 seconds green that's quite a substantial lead now hell yeah yo this is so slow it bogs down at 100 miles an hour so bad it's like Ugh. no okay watch out for trees watch out for trees watch out for trees i should have said watch out for silos come on where's the objective where is he? He's, he's behind me still. Okay, he's way back there. Maybe not way back there anymore. No! Back! No! No! Seriously? Seriously? Remember when I said I would crash on the last corner? Well, we gotta do that again. Yo, that was a big race too. Hey, buddy! Yeah, are we gonna do this together? Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't know you could climb that. <laughs> go to Laguna Seca. Why does everyone want me to go to Laguna Seca? I know it's in the game. It was in the last game as well. I don't understand all, like, all the people freaking out about it. But, all right, let's, uh, let's try to not crash that badly on the, on the last corner. That'd be great. Actually, I didn't even crash into a corner. I just crashed into a goddamn house. Good. Finish line one mile ahead. Have I avoided the thing I crashed into last time now? Uh, I crashed into... I don't know what I crashed into last time. I think I crashed, like... I ended up, like, over there somehow. How the hell did I manage that? Like, wow. This was not a difficult race. 11 seconds green. 11 seconds. Well, thank you very much, game. $15,000 for that. Sadly, I don't get any fans because last episode we, uh... We maxed out our fan situation. But we do have over a hundred thousand bucks now. Oh, loot. I gotta get my loot. I love this loot system. This loot system is awesome. You just drive up and you're like, mine, mine. So I get a gearbox and a suspension. Awesome. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's go do the other off-road race. I love how you can see both paths I took through the map. That's super cool. All right, where's this other off-road one? The other off-road one is all the way over here. Mercedes X-Class event? What's an X-Class? All right, so am I, am I gonna be using this vehicle? No, I'm in a Mercedes, Mercedes. This is a Mercedes X-Class? Mercedes makes a pickup truck like this? Really? I didn't know that. Okay, anyways, is this gonna be the same sort of style of race where we have an objective and the checkpoints we need to go through our stuff i'm just saying i feel like this would sell pretty well in the u.s like it's very different it's cool looking i don't know i feel like it would anyways let's 
try not to absolutely screw the thing up. Yep, I can drive through that. Brilliant. And I can drive up that. Sweet! I like this truck. Wait, what is this? Nice little secret path down there. Hell yeah. Through there. Cool. Wait, where's the next one? It's over there. <laughs> I'm all turned around, man. Oh, what? That's the problem. The goddamn AI knows the way. Oh, oh there's something big here. Oh, it's a bear. There's a huge bear back there. I really want to do, I, what would it be called? An animal exploration again? Or an expedition in the crew too? I did it in Horizon 3 and it was pretty cool. But I feel like this game would lend itself even better to an animal exploration. Like we open up the camera, take all these cool sh photos of like everything. I feel like it'd be so sick. Anyways, let's keep going, let's keep going. Nick, there's an F1 car in the crew. I am aware of that. I spoke about it in about five different videos. And then if you watched part one, I actually drove it in part one. All right, back down the hill. This course is insane. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> this is the most stupid thing I have ever... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh, we're done. Nope. Reset. Nope, nope, nope. Don't reset. We're good. We're good. We're still in front of the objective. I think. Wait, where is the object? Oh, we are! Yes! <laughs> I don't even know what part of the country we're in, but I really like it. It looks nice as hell. Oh, big jump. Oh, big jump. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, another big jump. Uh, not really. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. See, this is when I need the boat transformation, just to go across the water like that. There should have been, I, I actually don't know if there are, but there should be races in this game where you are forced to change your vehicle type in the middle of a race. Like, that would be sick. Sort of like, you know, the way GTA has it when you're in a race, like you hit a checkpoint and it goes, Oh, you got to change to this vehicle now. That'd be really cool in this game. 40 seconds green. I am a got it. The crew too, boys. Just don't watch part two of the Let's Play. Part three, all good. <laughs> no problems. Another 15,000. That's a lot of money. And I get some more performance parts. Thank you. I'm getting, what am I getting? A gearbox and suspension. Very nice. New vehicle earned. Wait, so do I get this thing? No way. Look at it. It looks really good. The paint's super ugly, but this truck's cool. So I'm looking at that thing in the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm trying to find when it beeps fastest. Oh, it's definitely beeping fastest up here. I don't know what this thing is, though. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh! Oh! Hold to open live reward. What is this? You found it, good eye. Okay. Oh, it's like loot. It's a loot box. We got a motor core and tires. Very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. It's just something you find in the map. I wonder if like they spawn randomly or, or what. Oh, very cool. Okay. So now I know to look for some bright green flashy thingy on my map. Very cool. All right. So... That's awesome. Look at that route we did as well. That route looks very good. So, okay. Very nice stuff. I want to go back to the house, though. And I want to see what we can do in terms of customizing our guy, but at the same time, customizing our house, because that would be very, very cool. So, uh, I guess we'll start it up with the guy. The guy came... You come to this little suit here, yep. Then you can customize your avatar. Now, we've got 118,000, so I've got quite a bit of money to spend, so we can go sort of crazy. Ooh, I like the hoodie look. Oh, we can definitely go hoodie. If you need a race where you're wearing gloves, you have to choose your gloves for the event. So we'll choose those ones, sure. We need a good helmet. I've had this helmet, and it just makes me look like a... Like, that's stupid. We can be a fighter pilot. That's cool. You know what they should do, actually? They should let you choose your helmet depending on what type of event you are in. Because I'd want a different helmet depending on if I'm in a plane or a car, for instance. Or a boat, for example. But you know what I mean? I feel like that should be a thing. Or a motocross bike. Because, like, a lot of these are good for only one thing. Racing suit. No. I can choose a racing suit? That is so sick. You need to be able to unlock more of these, though, as you go through the game. Because, like, there are some pretty good ones there. But I feel like we definitely need more of them. All right. So our guy's now customized. Can we, like, emote from in here? Oh, yeah. There's me. I'm in my racing suit. That's me. <laughs> Do we go to this Pacific powerboat? Wait, we've done that. We've done that. Lake Tahoe aerobatics. 
Sure. Man, we're gonna get through this, like, level one thing so quick. Oh, are we gonna be dropped into a plane? Oh, yeah, we are! Hell yeah! Oh, imagine if I just take off and, like, nope, I don't want to deal with this. Alright, cool. This is super sick! Oh my god, there's a moose. Ah, uh, guys, there's a thing in the way of my plane. Guys. Guys. Oh, he's gone. It's okay. Alright, get 1,500 points. How does one get points whilst flying? I assume, like, flying low and doing stunts and stuff, so. Fly low! Yay! And drift! I don't get points for flying low and drifting. It's a bit annoying. I'll do a loop. Come on. Do not end up in the water. Do not end up in the water. That was a loop. It was sort of a loop. Oh, I see. They want me to do certain things. They just want me to do a loop. Okay. Well, there you go. I did a loop. I did it. What do you want me to do? Knife flight close to water. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go for a loop. Go upward, vertical up. Okay, I'm just saying I feel like we'd be going a lot faster than 185 if we were going straight down. This is so sick, though. You want me to fly upside down? I'll fly upside down. How does that look? Huh? Woo, woo. Just uh, nail it through the trees. Good. Let's do an inverse loop. Checklist sequence. I got more checklists. Okay. You want me to fly at low altitude or you want me to roll? Okay, we're going to fly low over the water. I really like brushing my wheels into the water. It's like, oh! All right, we got a little too wet there. Oh, no! One second left! Oh, we saved it! Did I do it? 2,400 points! I don't really know how that works or what it means or anything. But that was a very fun way to earn 15,000. We also get a fuselage and an ECU and a rudder. So you can, in fact, upgrade your planes, like, performance-wise. That is so sick. Look at this. This reminds me of, like, Star Wars. The first computer game I ever had was a Star Wars game where your first mission, you came through, like, canyons like this. This is what it feels like. You should do a challenge with Ditch Vision to see who can, can get across the map first. We have some ideas. Let's, um... I guess let's go finish up the plane thing, boys. Let's do it. Oh. That's a big crash. All right, let's uh, let's go do this final thing. Oh my God, look at my course. That's insane. I love the map thing. The map thing's awesome. It shows you where you've been and everything. I don't know whose idea that was, but well played. Push it to the limit aerobatics. Yes, I can do that. No, I didn't want to see the leaderboard. All right, we got to become a plane. Plane, please. Thank you. World record is 6,300 points. Okay. We'll see if we can do that. I like, I like this. I like actually having to go to my starting grid. It's very cool. Let's see what we can do. Let's get 1,500 points. I guess I'm just going to try to follow the checklist as much as possible. So go straight up. Okay, I know how to do that now. I, I have to make my speedometer like all white. Then you go through that, then you do two rolls, okay? And then we do a big loop. Is that a roll? Yep, it does count as a roll, even though we are going directly up. Perfect. Now we need to do a loop, so let's level back out. Now let's do a loop. Let's go! Come on! I want, I want to get a lot of points, man. I want to get a hell of a lot of points. That was a loop! Come on, game! You can't shaft me like that. Okay, that was definitely a loop. Come on. There you go. Now what do you want me to do? Freestyle? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Does this count as a roll? Yes, it does. All right, let's fly really low. I like this area. This area is super open. This area is like really, really good. All right, checklist sequence. Low altitude for 500 yards. Perfect, I'm already doing that. Touch and go. Touch the ground and take off just after. Okay. There you go. You want me to do another one? Okay. This feels dangerous, but okay. There you go. Did it. And two rolls. And one. And go up a bit. <laughs> two. Okay. Checklist done. Perfect. Freestyle time. Straight down and roll. 
Then we'll get more points. Yes. Ten seconds left. Straight down, straight down, straight down. 3,000 points. Pull up. Come on, get another touch and go. Oh, I couldn't touch it. I couldn't touch it, but we did really well. Oh, wait. I still got time. 3,000 points. Hell yeah. That's really good. How does someone get 6,000 points, though? How is 6,000 the world record? Like, that's a lot. We get some more plane parts as well. That's really good. That'll actually help me get more points. Maybe that's how they did it. Boys, I am a good pilot in this game. I want to check my score. Oh my god, look at my look at my trajectory. That's crazy. So push it to the limit. Let me, let me check the leaderboard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am a beast. First place out of my friends. All right, there was one thing I did want to check out though. Because DJ was telling me earlier on Discord that there is a secret menu in here for car controls. You know how in this game there's no way to go in and say turn off like ABS or traction control or stuff like that. So you can like drift or or just have a challenge if you are that type of person. Um, so someone's telling me you have to go to vehicles. Then you go to performance. Wait. Then pro settings. Aha! So you can track, set your traction control, your ABS, your stability control, and your slide help per vehicle? No way. So let me turn stability control off. ABS can be stay on. Uh, traction control, that can be turned off. No way. And then I assume we get things that we can tune once we're, yeah. Once we're different ranks, so we're rookie right now, so we can't actually tune anything. But we will be able to tune our tire pressure, our grip, our power, uh, suspension, blah, blah, blah. Gearbox. That is so, so good. So you know what? I, I want to test something real quick. Let me let me go to a racetrack. Actually, everyone wanted me to go to Laguna Seca. So let me go there. Isn't it like over here somewhere? Ah, here. Yes! All right, now we're on the race course. So let's see. Does it drift? Our Mustang is just like a street car. We'll find out if it drifts pretty soon. This actually feels pretty good with these assists turned off like this. So that's the secret menu in the Crew 2. Like, how sick. I don't know. I feel like I can drive better without it. Or without all those assists on. I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way and will want to know how to turn those things off. So, there you go. There you go.